Uganda People's Defense Forces, UPDF, has responded to NUP on the issue of abducting their people. We are not going after anybody of NUP. We are going after those who abuse certain laws. And in this story, I have journalist Remy Bahati speaking about the abduction of her relatives from their home in Fort Porto. You understand that she's been trending so big time over the weekend and we need to understand more about this story so don't miss on that as well na ye simanye oba oko kwa chibiride okuamba muganda wange i don't know My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and this is The Buzz UG. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well, the Uganda People's Defense Forces, UPDF, have distanced themselves from the recent spate of abductions that have created fear among the public. According to the spokesperson of UPDF, that is Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, Bobby Wan's camp, NUP, should stop thinking that security officers only target their supporters. But the spokesperson of NUP, Horrible Joel Senyonyi, is asking UPDF to explain why it doesn't follow the recognized legal channels while executing its operations. The issue of drones kidnapping people does not arise anymore. Like I've said, if we arrest anybody, we shall make sure the person that are in the court, number one. Number two, it is not a secret. We must mention that we have him. We are not going after anybody of NUP. We are going after those who abuse certain laws. It is with the commanders of UPDF, the people who are in charge, who use UPDF to meet out violence against our people, to instill fear and, and, and make NUP difficult to, co you know, to connect with. So that people fear now even to join us politically and that kind of thing. The new president is known and he's been moving everywhere. He's been undermining the country wherever he has gone. Have we arrested him? You saw what they did in Arua. They planted guns in honor of Chagulani's hotel room. Like they're not even smart in the way they do things. And their commander-in-chief has admitted as such. He said it on TV and he told them stop torturing people. Okay, the only thing is, of course, he was bluffing because shortly after that, the torture remained. And up to now, Isam Seven he has not arrested any of his officers because he's the commander-in-chief for doing these things. Yeah. Ask us. It's not as if what we do, we are above the law. No, we are accountable to you. Ask us. Well, there you go. That is Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, uh, the spokesperson of UPDF, and that other voice is for Horrible Joel Senyonyi, the spokesperson of NUP. Now, relatedly, the Minister of Internal Affairs, Major General Kahinda Otafire, has instructed the Inspector General of Police, Martin Okoth Ochola, to institute an investigation into the abductions and come up with a detailed report. I don't know who is abducting people. I have just come across these allegations on media. That is why I have written to the Inspector General of Police to explain to me why such things are happening. Well, there you go. That is Minister Kahinda Otafire, the Minister for Internal Affairs. Now, Minister Otafire adds that in case these operations are lawfully sanctioned, he will not have any problem with them. Now, President Museveni is likely to stand in the coming 2026 presidential elections. Now, over the weekend, the Vice President Jessica Alupo, the Minister of Internal Affairs General Kahinda Otafire, uh, Defense Minister Vincent Sembija, among other leaders in the NRM party, signed an endorsement for President Museveni's 2026 candidature. This happened in Mitoma district where they had gone to attend the Youth Day celebrations. Now, the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Horrible Nobat Mao, who was also present, said that 2031 will be the start of a new Uganda. Yeah, so that is it. And uh, it's as if President Museveni is still around up to 2031. My goodness. 
Anyway, we are watching very closely. Now, journalist Remy Bahati is still demanding for the release of her relatives who were recently abducted from their home in Fort Porto. She was in a recent interview speaking about this matter. Let's first of all listen to her story. But don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I'm Remy Bahati. I'm a member of Uganda in Uganda. I'm a member of America. 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 I'm a uniform. of America. drone. Ya kamoto kaka kama nyiki dua enyo akawamba abantu abajambo jambo vao abawakanya government ke kazi mu makaga tata wange ne kawamba muganda wange kazi ni wange ne mwanyi wawe yabadde at Charlie Deco okubala bako kati raba abantu te te baba de ne arrest warrant baba tute otwazi okusinzira ku bye bangambi na ye neziruka ku social media ne postinga nga sababu yambi pol UPDF spokesperson na nzira mu ne bangamba anti bali mukola okunonyereza basobola okula banti baganda bange bakomawo nga balamu nga tebaina buzibu bonna oba bulabe bonno oba tu sidwako na ye Chane unyiza nyonti abantu aba tweetings ngabala geshifana nyinti wali mkunyamba. Bama zira neba confirm nganti beba ina muganda wange naba ntuba sobo naba lala. Era saba muganda wange wapani no msango gona bamute. Obasi chwecho bamutuale mkoti bamuburi no msango goya ziza kubanga. Simu nabia abufuzi tabela ngakona mundu abada abela South Africa ere Uganda yabada akome okuchala buchazi tabela ngakomu vyo bufuzi taina na social media antioba yenye gina partisan politics esho techeba nga uo era nzi ngamba okukwati wakwe kuina kwe shiviri de era chinsaba I mean I want to know why they're holding him era abantu bebala zemu mauli de ne bagamba antibiba na abantu haba kwati duwa kuwe waka awa abantu siba manyi siba ganda bange era nsaba Bandege kubifana hivya mganda wangu bajari, chenja gala choka. Nzenganze muna mauli, of course, I've been intimidated many times. Ku stories nzenga mpandi ka walore na interviewing ka kwenza. Recently, I published a story in Aganti, human rights violations in Uganda. Teba, like, tawali chikole dua. So, Congress ya America, ne wandikira President Joe Biden inge gamba, balikira basanction inge. Buli muntu ye na yena ye tanira mukutulu gunya banawe era bali mete president yo ikaguta mseveni okuja oku attendinga US Africa summit egeno kubera mu December so ebe byonna nafuna kutisi watisibwa era nakogera ko na ye simanyi oba oko kwa chibiride okuwamba muganda wange statement ya UPDF e gambi ntiba kute katunji Kelvin ne mugomelative and those are my relatives Na ye ebifana nyi bya and the reason baga me ensonge bakwasiza anti babadde bayine byambalo bya maji bya bambala ngabaina ne mundu ngabati sati sabantu ya fort pato which is very absurd kubanga situ subira ebifana nyi bya bandaze ko ngabategeza anti abo bebaganda bange siba manyi siba labanga ko i don't know <laughs> Audio Jungle